Hey guys, Jess here. Got another new boat I want to show you guys. And I know what you're thinking, another project, but what about the Nordhaven? What about all the other projects? I know, I know. I'm a bit of a kid in a candy store when it comes to RCs. When I see them, I cannot resist them. Um, so this one here is really special. Um, this is a vintage Lindbergh kit, I believe from 1965 is what it says in the manual. Um, so this particular model is the 40 foot sport fisherman. It's a Chris craft and this thing is awesome. If you can see here, let's give you a little look. It needs a little bit of TLC, um, which is fine. Um, we're going to work on that. Um, I would like to, uh, do a shout out to my buddy Matt. He actually picked this up for me about a month ago. He drove a four hour round trip just to pick this up um, so I could get this boat and show you guys. Super excited for everything we can do. Now, first thing with this boat is the stand is pretty well kaput. It's pretty damaged. Oh, you can see, yeah, it's falling over. It's all broken. Oh. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna borrow our stand from our Nordhaven and we're gonna get this thing, um, get this thing leveled and situated and then um, we'll see what work we need to do to it. Okay, so before we bring the boat back to the bench, I wanna show you guys this. This is the original box that the boat came in. Um, and it's just super cool. The rest of it's pretty well haggard, but um, super cool artwork on there. Okay guys, so not only do we have the original box, I have the original instructions. So we're just gonna take a moment here and look these over. Super cool, not that we're gonna need these, but just really cool to have. And um, there's our stand. I think this is funny. They keep putting this on all the, when all else fails, read the instructions. Now, I'm, I, I'm going to show you guys inside the boat. All of this has been replaced and um, replaced with just like a modern shaft and motor. Very, very cool. So these cabin dividers. So what my plan is, I did pick up some very thin balsa wood. Um, this is actually for a cricket machine, but you can see it's really, really thin. So what I wanna do is use this as well as I picked up some wood planking. And I wanna use this to do the wood accents on this boat. But that is for another day. But it's cool that we have the template, so we can cut those out. Windshield. Very cool boat, guys. This is super awesome. Yeah, and I believe these are one to one. So you could put a wire on here and bend it to size. So very, very cool. All right, well, we'll get the boat back on here. Okay, so we got the boat on the stand. It does fit it very well. You can see here on the sides, this is a very sturdy stand. So I think we'll be using that from now on. Get some felt pads or something on there. So now that we got the boat situated, I think for now, I just want to do some general repairs. Just want to fix this. I want to wash it, give it a good cleaning. There's a couple little things I noticed, like the roof is loose here. 
Um, a couple things broken off, pretty dirty. I'm gonna give it a good cleaning. I think eventually I will change the color, the burgundy to probably just like a gray. And then in here is where I wanna do the, the wood accent. So that door here will probably be wood. May even plank the floor. So again, yeah, so there's the planking. Oops. Might plank the floor in there, as well as the outer edge here will all be wood. Um, so that's gonna be another day. I think for today, just wanna do the basics and get this thing running and get it in the water. The other thing I noticed, this is unoriginal. It says Bondo on there. This wasn't original to the boat. There was a windshield that went on here that I believe is missing. So I might remove this top. Not sure yet. And it's got dual propellers and dual rudders. So it's super cool. All right, so let's get this thing opened up and have a look inside. Okay, so here's a look inside. Looks like we got an old Futaba servo in here. And some old motors. Some pretty sketchy connections in there, guys. But um, I did throw a receiver in there and just to test it. And I was able to get it to work. So I think for right now, just want to get this thing. I just want to test run it. So I got it set up in a way that we can just run it today, get this thing on the water, and then um, later on down the road, we can upgrade these motors and, and everything. Another thing I need to do is add some foam inside of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing washed up and cleaned up, do some basic maintenance, just the bare minimum to get this thing in the water and then we'll do another episode another day uh, when we dive deep into the details so guys just another thing I wanted to say was that this is now my third Chris Craft boat so I do have this one now if you guys remember this one from my other videos this is the, the flying bridge and as well as we still have our Chris Craft continental kit that we haven't even started yet so i think we have a theme going on there i do like the old chris craft boats they are nice one thing too i wanted to show you guys was the size comparison so this boat is a 1 to 16 scale i believe this one is a 1 to 12 and then the horizon tug so it's a fairly large boat other thing as well is we'll see what it looks like on the trailer Okay guys, and here it is with the TRX4 high trail. It is big for this little trailer. I am gonna have to um, I am gonna have to purchase the RC four wheel drive big dog triple axle wide body trailer, I think. Because now I have this boat as well as the M41. So um, I'm gonna have to purchase that trailer soon, so stay tuned for that. We'll get some boat launches with this thing. Okay guys, well, we got this thing all kind of cleaned up and uh, we're ready to hit the lake. So just did some basic cleaning, took off the Velcro, just cleaned it up a little bit for today. Fixed these, fixed the railings here. Just did some basic cleaning. So this thing is ready to hit the water. We're gonna run this thing on dual 2S today. So, hoping it does pretty good. I am gonna bring the Horizon Tug with us just in case we need to retrieve it, but hopefully, um, hopefully we don't need it. So, um, yeah, so let's hit the lake. Ooh. 